This malicious XLSB sample is interesting because some of the formulas are not decompiled correctly and we'll see how to handle such cases. We start from the entry point and search for the first occurrence of a call or register function. We use the Silicon Excel emulator to emulate the first register function. What it does is to register the name Joica as an alias of the Win32 Create Directory API. The next function called is Joica. We can see the malware creates a directory in the C drive. Afterwards we encounter a strange formula, having the name of a cell as function. By following that cell, we can see that it actually returns a string. It seems that the formula is out of order. If we execute the formula, we notice that it can't be correct. This is probably due to the decompiler of the Pi XLSP2 project. In any case, we can fix it. We use the action to execute custom formulas and try to put the fields in the correct order. I'm just guessing that the C229 cell comes after the C228 cell. Executing the formula gives us now the correct result. The malware calls again Joica to create a subdirectory. It then registers the name FIDER as an alias of URL download to file. Again we encounter a formula which doesn't look correctly decompiled. We try to rearrange the fields in the correct order. I guess again based on the name of the cell. It still doesn't look correct as two different arguments are joined together. We try to understand where the first of the joined arguments ends by following the reference cells. Now the arguments for the URL download to file API are correctly laid out. However, there's still an issue with the URL of the malicious payload. It seems to be missing a part. The problem is that another formula is not correctly decompiled and therefore the emulator can't calculate the correct string. We can however extract the correct URL from the store pre-computed value. After having downloaded the malicious payload to disk, the document registers the name Closer as an alias for the Open URL API. The next formula is again out of order and we repeat the process of rearranging the fields by trial and error. Once we're done, it's clear that the malware uses OpenURL to run the downloaded executable. What follows is a halt function. We finished our analysis. If we had to deal with a more complex malware, we could use Python to programmatically fix the values in the spreadsheet.